there's anything good about losing is um, if you did it before, you realize there's um, always the next day, and then you you, know, you get the chance if you are smart enough to 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 pick up the right informations from your defeat or whatever um, to do better, and it's actually the plan what we have. So. Um, of course, there was disappointment after the game, um, all these kind of things. Um, but I was pretty quick over it, to be honest. And me, the parade helped me massively. Um, and from that point of view, uh, let's just try it again. So there's no reason for that. I, I wouldn't sit here and feel a little bit different if we would have won the league or the Champions League. Nothing would be different. I wear the same shirt, the same shorts, everything. Um, so it's just what you make of it. And um, we, are, we try to. Uh, use the analyzer in the right way. You've had a busy summer with new faces coming into the football club. One of them, Darwin Nunez, who came off the bench to score just four goals uh, in one of your pre-season games. How impressed have you been with him, the impact he's had, and, and how he's gelled into the group so quickly? He didn't gel in the group so quickly. That The group is the best group I ever saw to, to, to bring in, to, to, to help players to settle, to be honest. Um, but um, it was always clear that um, in, in a situation like this, that a striker with his uh, skill set will need time because it's different to what we had before. Uh, we played definitely different to Benfica Lisbon. So it means both sides have to adapt. And then he didn't score the first in, in the first two games in, I don't know exactly, 50 odd minutes or whatever. And we start, we, we, we face discussions. That's a crazy world out there, I have to say. So then he scores four goals in a game um, and we discuss it completely the other way around. So we need time to get used to each other. And that's absolutely fine. Um, because how can we expect after a week or for the first game, it was th three days that, that we or he would be at his absolute best. That makes absolutely no sense. It's like this kind of game I don't understand out there. Um, but no problem. So um, he's a really nice guy. Uh, he loves being here. Our Spanish community players um, help him a lot. He's learning English already. Um, he's really trying hard to understand at least the basics now as quick as possible. Um, so it's all, it's all going in the right direction. Three new faces into the football club, but Liverpool fans will be saying, what next? Who next? Can they expect more signings or are you done? If nobody wants to leave, we are done. Or if an injury, bad injury comes in. So that we never, I don't hope so. But then you over there have to think new, but if it stays like it is, then yeah, the Liverpool fans can start focusing on, on other things. Have you had any bids for any of your players so far? Have I ever spoken in situations like this about it? I don't get the, the pleasure of speaking to you enough. No. Uh, you get the results, not the process. Don't forget. Brilliant. When you look at the activity that other clubs are doing in the window, for example, Manchester City have been, have been busy bringing in new players and Spurs have been really active as well, bringing in new faces to Antonio Conte's squad. Do you, do you monitor the transfer window? Do you, do you look at it and think, oh, that's interesting, or he's going to be a good player, or do you just, it's white noise, you just ignore it? I don't know, I'm interested in football, I'm interested in the Premier League, of course I see it. Um, of course, and uh, I cannot say that anybody made a massive mistake so far in the transfer market. <laughs> that I sat at home and thought, oh, thank God they took him. That didn't happen yet. Um, no, but it was clear before that um, obviously Tottenham going in the right direction was clear. You could see that last year that, that the signings they made, they make absolutely sense. Uh, City didn't only bring in players, gave, gave um, two to Arsenal, one to Chelsea. So we, but it, we, we are in a similar situation. We, can, we just can always go again with the same team and try to do this kind of... You need a bit of fresh blood and a bit of fresh legs. So City obviously is in a similar situation to us. We, we, we did it uh, in, in, a, in a similar way. Um, and then in the end, they all will have, a fantastic, will have fantastic football players like we have fantastic football players. Um, and then it's a question who makes the most of it. And as everybody has the same chance. So um, let's see. It will be interesting for the supporters, definitely. Um, and we will try to give it our all. Last season and for the previous few seasons, it's been Liverpool and Manchester City battling for the Premier League title. Who do you think will challenge 
Liverpool and Manchester City this season because you could make a case for Tottenham or for Manchester United under Eric. It seems like everyone is, is getting closer to, to being where you are. Yeah, yeah, but it's always clear. It was always clear that these kind of things will happen. So Arsenal did obviously exceptionally well. Um, did you ever mention Chelsea? Probably not. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, crazy good team. Um, it's, it is in this league like this. The, the main target for all of us is to qualify for the Champions League. And that's really difficult enough already. And when you the moment when you, when you, when you, when you could that, uh, when you reach that, and you have then still time and the opportunity to fight for the title, then you do that. But it's really the majority of the season you, you fight for, for qualifying for the Champions League. Um, I know when you are qualified four or five years in a row, people don't appreciate that in the, anymore, like when we qualified first time for a long time. Uh, but it's still the main thing to do, and that will be a massive fight this year. Oh my God. Um, that's why the Premier League, but it's why everybody watches the Premier League. No, I, I have no idea who will, will make the race. Um, you have no idea. It looks like City in the end will be champion. Um, if we wouldn't have been champion in, in between, then they would have won it, I think, five or six times in a row, which is really crazy in this country. Um, but, yeah, our target is to play the best possible season for us. What can we squeeze out? Let's see. Um, really looking forward to it.